it was something infinitely more scary than a piranha. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that is grotesque. The strange ghostly shapes were a kind of catfish called giant kandaroo. Normal kandaroo are about the size of my little finger, so these ones are relative monsters. Oh, look at that, it's got right into the belly cavity. That is one single bite. It just looks like he's bored a hole straight into the gut of that fish. That is horrible. That is absolutely horrid. I'm going to go swimming now. Uh, no, no, or possibly never again. <laughs> this calls for a deadly 60 experiment. OK. I'm going to time how long it takes them to devour this piece of steak. Just imagine if you fell into the water. How long would it take before the kangaroo started attacking you? They are possibly the most grotesque, most frightening fish I think I've ever seen. And um, no sooner had I put this bit of meat into the water, than I was suddenly... Ow! <laughs> suddenly surrounded by seething, white, grotesque catfish. Oh my God, they're shredding it. They are absolutely shredding it. They just get a grip with those teeth and then spin their body round and round and round and bore into it like some insane living drill bit. Do you reckon they'll actually do this? to a living animal swimming these waters at night. That is grim. Ugh. Can I take piranhas off the Delhi 60 and put kangaroo on instead? Yeah. I wasn't planning on it, but I have to say, that's one of the scariest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. From steak to nothing in 48 seconds. I'm certainly not going swimming in there. They are evil. <laughs> <laughs>